A sign of post-pandemic recovery in China. It has set a new economic growth target of over 6% for the year after admitting it for the first time in decades last year. Announcing this at the opening session of the country's top legislature, Chinese Premier Li Keqiang also pledged to create more jobs in cities than last year. Olivia Xiong with more from Beijing. As the National People's Congress got its annual meeting underway on Friday, much of the attention was on China's economy as Chinese Premier Li Keqiang delivered the government's annual work report. Putting to rest speculation on whether an economic growth target would be announced after its omission last year, Premier Li confirmed that China would seek to achieve over 6% GDP growth for 2021. The over 6% growth target is similar to the goals set prior to the COVID-19 pandemic, though economists have pointed out that a recovery from a low base wouldn't necessarily mean that China has returned to a high growth period. China's economy grew by 2.3% in 2020, the only major economy to see positive growth last year. But given this low base, some have questioned whether the target of over 6% growth for this year is too low a bar. After all, economists have forecast that China's economy will grow by about 8% this year. China also plans to create more than 11 million new urban jobs, up from over 9 million last year. And in another sign of confidence that its economy is recovering, China's government has set the deficit-to-GDP ratio at around 3.2% this year. That's down from above 3.6% last year. In addition, no special bonds that were part of COVID-19 relief measures will be issued. In his hour-long speech, Premier Li also said that China will resolutely guard against and deter interference by external forces in Hong Kong's affairs. Although he did not explicitly mention discussion about reforms to Hong Kong's electoral system, which is on the agenda of the legislature this time round, officials have called for changes to ensure that patriots govern Hong Kong, a move likely to disqualify pro-democracy candidates from running for public office as Beijing tightens its controls over the city. Last year, the two sessions saw the proposal to implement a controversial national security law being approved by the largely ceremonial parliament and officially being adopted soon after. Turning to the self-ruled island of Taiwan, Mr Li also said that China will resolutely deter any separatist activities seeking its independence, but added that it's also committed to promoting the peaceful growth of cross-strait relations and China's reunification. This as China has increased its military activity near the island in recent months, responding to what it calls collusion between Taipei and Washington, Taiwan's main international backer. But in his speech, Mr. Li also offered an olive branch to the United States, despite lingering Sino-U.S. tensions. While seemingly cordial, China is perhaps bracing for continued tensions with the U.S., as the Biden administration has said that the country remains its largest geopolitical test. Amid a growing rivalry in the technology sector, Premier Li also said it would make breakthroughs in core technologies in key fields as part of its new five-year plan. Spending on research and development will also go up by more than 7% per year. China's legislature will sit for a week and close on March 11. Olivia Xiong, CNA, Beijing.